pass for one minute. Without recognition, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The United States should not provide support to foreign military units that repeatedly commit human rights violations. That should be clear. Yet in Burkina Faso, Guinea, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, military units backed by the United States did just that, terrorizing civilians in the name of security. Backing these units is supposed to be against U.S. law, but for decades there has been one big loophole, and it's called Section 127 ECHO. One specific DOD authority that authorizes support for these units without any human rights vetting. This loophole means that we have no assurances that our operatives aren't working with partners who are in direct conflict with our values. And if we are truly focused on countering violent extremism, we have to acknowledge that abuses by security forces often propel victims into violent extremist groups. That's why I brought forward an amendment to the NDAA to close this loophole, and I'm proud to say it was adopted with bipartisan support. My amendment ensures that we aren't contributing to the very same problems we aim to solve. And it sends a clear message. When it comes to human rights, there cannot be loopholes, exemptions, or exceptions. And with that, I yield back.